Hey, y'all, this week's quick tip is a Google Docs tip. Did you know you can now insert a watermark? So a watermark is usually something you see like this right here, kind of grayed out text that appears behind. This is very common for confidential documents. You'll see this used a lot. Special ed teachers may be really excited to have this option now. But inside Docs, you can do text and you can even add images as a watermark. So let me show you how this works. First, you need to go to insert and then go to watermark. And it will open this sidebar where you have the option to choose between the image tab and the text tab. So you can jump in here and go to upload an image, find it in your Google Drive, find it in a Google image search. Really, really easy to use. I'm just going to throw my podcast logo in here and you'll see by default, it kind of fades it out, which for this particular logo, I don't like. It doesn't look very good, but that's so you can read the text better. So depending on how you're using this, if you're using this for branding and adding a logo, maybe your school's logo as a watermark, yeah, fading it or even using like a black and white version may be more appropriate, but you can also change it. So I don't have to have it this big. I can scale it down a little bit, make it smaller. Um, I can choose to have it faded or not. Like I said, that's going to affect the readability. So totally up to you on if that's appropriate. You also have more image options. So even though it's got that transparency, you can adjust that and even make that lighter if you want to fade it out even more and change the brightness and the contrast and really jump into any of those image options that we usually have in the toolbar. Now let's go back and let's change this to text. So down at the bottom, we can choose to remove the watermark. And I'm going to jump over here to text. And this is where, for instance, if you needed to use confidential, you can insert that here. Now, by default, it does it just like this. Formatting defaults to Arial, and it also defaults to kind of fit it across the page. And for instance, if it is copyrighted material or material that you don't want someone to be able to use without that watermark appearing, you usually want it to cover the whole page like that so that it is not easily cut out. Um, you can also, of course, change some bold italics and even the text color if you want. It defaults to this light gray. You've got your transparency option, and then you can choose. By default, it's this diagonal, but you could also have it horizontal, and you could even place it in front of the text if that is appropriate for you. But typically, this is how you're going to see those types of watermarks, and that's it. Just click done and it's that simple. So jump into Google Docs, give this a try. This might be great for adding the logo or just information about, hey, this is Miss Bell's class, a logo for your, your campus or your school district or confidential or, you know, this document belongs to. Anything like that is very appropriate for a watermark. If you like this tip, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't, jump on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of our free resources there. Bye, y'all.